Dozens of women track and field athletes won national and world titles under his leadership. Tonight, we remember legendary coach Ed Temple. News Channel 5's Jonquil Newland joins us from First Tennessee Park. Jonquil, what kind of impact did he have on track and field? Well, Vicki, it was an impact large enough that it warranted a statue be erected in his honor. This statue was unveiled in 2015 and depicts Coach Temple as many knew him best. At Tennessee State University, a few names rise above the rest. You have uh, Coach McClendon uh, and, and just the tremendous things that he did as a basketball coach here. And then you have Big John. Women's track and field coach Ed Temple rounds out what TSU calls the Big Three. I actually met Coach Temple when I started in 1989. Valencia Jordan serves as TSU's associate athletics director. He talked to me about understanding the lay of the land in, turn, in terms of being here at Tennessee State, but also what it takes to be a coach and be in it for the duration. Temple is credited with nicknaming the women's track and field team the Tiger Bells. Under him, they brought home 24 national titles. If you didn't give him 100 percent, you didn't run track and field for Ed Temple. Former News Channel 5 sports director Hope Hines first met Temple nearly 50 years ago. When I got here in 71, he was already a legend. One thing he always had when you saw Ed Temple was a stopwatch. A memory now captured to withstand time. He was just one, not only our great coach, he was a fine gentleman. It's going to be uh, not just a tough loss, I think, for Tennessee State University, but I think the global loss in terms of all the countries and people that he connected with uh, via the Olympics. Now, Coach Temple led the women's U.S. Olympic team in 1960 and in 1964. His name was inducted into the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame in 2012. At First Tennessee Park, I'm Jonquil Newland, News Channel 5.